Hi, this is Janine Zeitlin this evening for the USA Today Network in Florida, and I'm here with Dr. Ed Rappaport. And um, so we have some latest information from you all in the 5 p.m. advisory, and um, we're now, some parts of Florida are now under tropical storm watch. That's correct. So the storm has approached close enough, and the forecast track is close enough in time that it is time to start um, increasing the alerts that we're providing. And at this level, what the tropical storm watch means that tropical storm conditions are possible within the next 48 hours. And the watch extends from the Palm Beach County area northward along the eastern uh, part of Florida up to not quite Cape Canaveral yet and uh, means that tropical storm conditions are possible by Monday. And now, if the forecast um, stays as it has been, those will likely have to be upgraded to tropical storm warnings. And the difference between a watch and a warning is the warning means that it's now become expected as opposed to possible, and the timeline is, has become smaller. It's 36 hours rather than 40 hours. So if a tropical storm warning comes up, um, and that would be tomorrow, then it means that those conditions are expected within the next 36 hours. And aside from that, a lot of Florida residents have been pretty happy today with how the storm is tracking. Can you talk about how likely it is at this point that there could be a direct landfall in Florida? Yes, and hopefully the, the picture can pick this up. I'm going to switch here so that we can actually see between us the track of the storm, at least the forecast. So the storm's located out here now. It's about 150 miles or so to the east of the Bahamas, the northwest Bahamas. That's what we've got highlighted here in red. It's red because there's a hurricane warning there. I mean, we're expecting hurricane conditions, and that's going to be tomorrow. But the track of the for is uh, forecast to come up towards Florida and then, as we said, turn maybe just offshore. If this were to occur, then yes, we'd be having some impact in Florida, perhaps tropical storm conditions. But the track change is very close to the coast. If we're off by just a little bit, instead of the, the center going like this off the east coast of Florida, if it just comes another 30 or 50 miles farther to the west, which is certainly possible, then we bring the strongest conditions to just offshore, maybe even hurricane conditions. Um, that's not the forecast right now, but the wouldn't, forecast wouldn't have to change very much for that to be the case. And just to clarify, the forecast right now is most forecasts keep it offshore Florida. Well, the official forecast, which is the one we're referring to, does keep the center offshore. However, given the size of the storm, what here, this orange area here around where the center is now is the size of the tropical storm conditions. So in my, my hand is about the fingers are this far apart. If I were to, to move that over here, even if the center remains offshore, you can see that we get tropical storm conditions to at least graze the coast. And here's where the hurricane conditions are. Again, if the storm comes closer, that little small hurricane area would come right up to the coast too. So yes, the worst the weather is forecast to be offshore, but just offshore. And so a lot of people have been changing their Labor Day plans around, at least in South Florida. Are the, what, part, what parts of, of Florida might you expect the weather to be okay this weekend? What can people, if people want to enjoy their Labor Day, where is a good place to go in Florida to do that? Well, the weather's going to be good in, in, for the Labor Day weekend over most of, of Florida. It's towards the end of the weekend on Monday into Tuesday that we have the, the most concern, and that will be mainly up the Florida East Coast. But certainly the Panhandle, the Florida Keys, and the southwestern coast of Florida, the weather's been great and should remain that way. Thank you. I, we appreciate it. Thank you. This is Janine Zeitlin with the USA Today Network. And uh, if you have questions, feel free to reach out on our Facebook pages, or you can uh, contact me on Twitter at Janine Zeitlin. Thank you.